In this video, I'm going to be creating Minecraft in real life. To do this, I'm going to use this giant tank and over 2,000 Minecraft blocks. I'm even going to surprise everyone by adding a rare axolotl. Last June, axolotls took Minecraft by storm, and fans everywhere were instantly obsessed. Since I love Minecraft and have a history of building crazy tanks like this replica of Bikini Bottom and this axolotl tunnel, I thought I'd give it my best shot at creating Minecraft in real life. Right away, things seemed impossible. This tank will need over 2,000 blocks to look like the real deal. But no one sells these blocks, and we're gonna have to build them from scratch. We also have a super rare axolotl on the way, and we need this lush cave to be done before it gets here. Before we start, let's look at a few different axolotl morphs that exist in Minecraft. These are Minecraft axolotls. This is Gold, Lucy, and a wild-type axolotl. But the one that we're getting is even rarer. They're just as cute in real life as they are in the actual game. Before I invest tons of time and money, let's create a super simple Minecraft tank. If we can build this, we can hopefully scale up and create something much bigger and much better. This map is approximately the same size as this fish tank. This tank is also shaped exactly like a Minecraft block. I'm going to keep it super simple and only use stone blocks. In the real tank, we'll be using bigger blocks and making it look like a real lush cave. I found these super cool stone ice cubes online. These are the closest things I could find to real Minecraft blocks. They aren't cheap, about $1 per stone, and we're gonna need over 700 of these to make this work. I ended up buying every single one they had. At least now we'll have an idea of what we're building. This box was so heavy, there's so many stones in here. We have over 80 boxes to unpack. This is crazy. I can't wait to build out this Minecraft map. I don't know who liquid therapy is, but your ice cubes are now Minecraft blocks. This is taking ages, but it gives me hope that we can make this look like Minecraft in real life. Let's check out our map and see how we're doing. It looks like we still need to add some plants to bring this tank to life. Wow, this is looking much better. Let's fill it up. Hopefully my axolotl will like it. It's finally time to add my axolotl butters. Butters looks just like the leucistic axolotl in Minecraft. This is pretty cool. I think he's having fun in his temporary home. Okay, that took way longer than I thought and the real tank is even bigger. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this done in time. I spent hours exploring this map. Every detail needed to be perfect. Axolotls spawn in lush caves, so this is exactly what we're going to create. I can't wait for you to see the rare axolotl for this tank. But if we wanna make this as accurate as possible, we're gonna need larger stone blocks and a cube tank that's four times as big. Let's go into Petco and see what they have. I really wanna find something different. Not like these rectangular tanks. Something more Minecraft. They have tanks shaped like Minecraft blocks. This is perfect. I can't wait to get back to the studio. This thing is huge, it barely fits in my car. The only thing left to do is make the Minecraft blocks. But we can't use the stone ice cubes again. This would literally cost over $10,000. I'm not kidding when I say I spend every cent I have on these videos for you, so be sure to like and subscribe. I'm feeling super defeated. How am I supposed to create Minecraft in real life without real stone blocks? But then I had an idea. What if we could cut stone tiles into stone blocks? Not only is this fish safe, it will also look just like Minecraft. The next morning I went to the hardware store, dressed in a Minecraft costume of course. I can't wait to see what people think about this costume. This is my first time doing something like this and I'm having way too much fun. After roaming the aisles like a Minecraft mop, I finally found the outdoor garden section. There are so many different types of stones here and they all look just like Minecraft blocks. How cool is this? These are gonna be perfect for Minecraft blocks. But how am I going to turn these into blocks? You can do it, but you're gonna need a huge saw. Okay, Paul wasn't kidding. This thing is massive. It even needs running water to work. I'm starting to feel a little out of my league here. We're finally on our way to building our Minecraft tank. I can't wait to get back to the studio so we can get to work. This machine is so heavy. Let's get it set up and get started. But first things first, safety. I've never used a power tool like this before, so I'm gonna take it super slow. We're only a few cuts in and this already isn't working. I just ran some calculations and we're going to need over 2,000 blocks to get this to work. To make matters worse, there's water all over the floor. These aren't blocks at all. They chip way too easily. Our rare axolotl is arriving soon, and if we can't get these cut, he won't get his dream Minecraft tank. I'm going to try this countertop outlet. It looks like they have a huge selection of stones that might work. These all look exactly like Minecraft blocks. 
I bought a lot of these so we can make this work. Let's get them in the car and get back to the studio. I've moved into the basement. Let's get cutting. This isn't as easy as it looks. The saw is quite powerful and each cube needs to be exactly one inch by one inch. These are looking great, but we have over 2,499 to go. Well, we cut thousands of blocks, I'm giving away another Web Pets Aquarium. It comes with everything you need to get started in the fish keeping hobby, so subscribe right now. Last week, Maddie from Texas won. Congratulations, Maddie. Okay, let's get back to business. We only need a few more blocks to bring our Minecraft tank to life. I'm not kidding when I say this took days. This is one of the most tedious things I have ever done, and we haven't even started building the tank yet. We also need to sand and smooth each block for my axolotl. Finally, after days of cutting, we ended up with this. Wow, it's perfect timing. My dream axolotl has arrived. This is a high iridophore, hypomelanistic copper axolotl. My friend Jake at Axolotl Planet helped me pick him out. He is super rare and looks like a gold Minecraft axolotl mixed with a blue Minecraft axolotl. His colors are absolutely crazy. Let's get him comfortable in a cycled quarantine tank while we finish setting up his new Minecraft cave oasis. I can't wait to fill up this huge tank with our Minecraft blocks. But first, let's create our mini Minecraft cave. Axolotls love dim lighting, so this is going to be perfect for my new baby. The next day, the cave was dry. It looks so good. Let's get it into the tank. It's taken days to get to this point. I'm just hoping it really looks like Minecraft. Now it's time to add in the blocks. I'm gonna speed this part up since it took me hours. Let's check in on our map and see how we're doing. I just realized I have no idea how I'm gonna build the cave ceiling. If we can't do this, it'll just be a pile of blocks. I'm going to use this plywood and turn it upside down onto the tank. I'm going to use my jigsaw saw to make a cool Minecraft pattern. This will allow light to stream into the tank. I'm going to tile the roof to complete the look. I even stacked a few tiles to make stalactites. This is awesome. I've also made these super cool cave walls for the sides to make it really feel like a lush cave. I added extra silicone and gave it another day to dry. I want to make sure the ceiling and the walls are super secure. It's finally time to put everything together. I'm going to have to stand like this for a while. Wow, this looks awesome. There's only a couple more things we need to do. Let's add white sand to the bottom and a few plants dotted around. I even got this Minecraft grass to make it look more realistic. These plants really make it look like a lush cave. Wow, everything looks fantastic. Let's fill up the tank and get it ready for our new axolotl. What should we name him? Let me know in the comments. It's been about a week. Let's give my dream axolotl a snack. I've even ordered these Minecraft figurines to complete the setup. Wow, our setup really looks like Minecraft in real life. We just made Minecraft in real life. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you here next week.